Hi, first love! So, welcome in! Sorry ka, mabuhay! And you are back in first Sai with the same outfit once again because this is the third film or the third video that I'm filming today and it's all about perfumes because I barely have the time to film and yes. So this time I'm going to share to you some oldies but goodies with the unboxing. One I will not unbox and I will tell you about it. So I'm going to tell you about um, Diamonds and Emeralds by Elizabeth Taylor. Still sealed right here. And then Elizabeth Arden Splendor Eau de Parfum. My used to be signature scent, which is Burberry Weekend for Women, Eau de Parfum. And then I have two more. Um, this is not super old. It was like 2013, but it's a flanker from the ever so popular Aqualina Pink Sugar. But this one is Aqualina a Simply Pink by Pink Sugar there so without further ado let all right so first as you see in here we have burberry weekend for women i have already removed the plastics for this and this one so it's easy for us to unbox them so this is um the perfume that i was um telling you earlier i was giving a hint this had been my signature perfume um in the years of let's say 2000 and I think that was like 2010 to 2011 or to 2012 something like that um, or 2000 and yeah around those times up to 2012 Yes, so there, but I only got the 30 ml and I finished that right away because it's always in my bag and I always sprayed. And everybody's always asking me, What are you wearing? What are you wearing? It smells so good. And I never tell them. <laughs> so finally, those people who are asking me on those years what I'm wearing, this is it. And um, this you could not really find on the shelves of the malls or the, um, on perfume stores, but you could find them online on the perfume websites. Yeah, so. The main accords of this one is floral, powdery, a little bit of fruity, woody, and sweet. So as you see, the box is very nice with Burberry print right here and the Burberry Weekend for Women with Perfume Natural Spray Vaporizator 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounce. This is the side of the box. At the back, it says like this, made in France. And then the bottom is like so. Yes, 80% volume. Okay. So that's that. And then, okay, there's nothing written on here like on the other boxes. It's very simple. And uh, here is the main bottle. As you see, we have weekend here, Burberry, and then the Burberry print on the side. It's a clear bottle. You can see the liquid inside there. A little bit um, amber. Uh, and we have a Burberry engraved on the cap and of course the Burberry logo very beautiful this is how it looks around it it's a very peculiar shaped bottle and then we have at the bottom Burberry weekend eau de parfum 50 ml um, Burberry limited London or made in France so there you go and the main accords for this one, I have already mentioned that it is more florally and powdery. But to give you a little bit of the history, this is a relaxing powdery fragrance and is dedicated to Weekend. <laughs> a relaxing country style perfume named Weekend for Women with the top notes includes sweet and zesty mandarin and aromatic grassy notes. Heart notes contain blue hyacinth, iris, nectarine, peach flower, red cyclamen, and wild rose. 
The dry down is the perfect blend of sandalwood, cedar, and musk, and it's created by Natalie Larson in 1997. Yes, so there you go. About 23 years, if I'm not mistaken. 1997, 23. Yes. And um, people say that they love to wear this during the daytime and mostly on spring and also in summer. Yeah, so, well, I wore this a lot in the Philippines and <laughs> it's almost summer all year round or summer and rain in there anyway. So I'm gonna try it right here. Okay. Oh my God, this is beautiful. It gives me a lot of memories. You know that sense trigger memories? Oh, I love it. I, I think I'm so gonna wear this again during the spring. It's just very powdery fresh, but not powdery to the point that, um, hmm, how do I say? Doesn't even smell clean, more of a sweet powder. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love this one. <laughs> I should get a bigger bottle. But yeah, so that's all for the Burberry weekend that I really love until now and I'm really happy that I got reconnected with this one because this is very good. If you see this on sale and then you are thinking if you wanted to go blind buy it, I think it will be a safe blind buy. It's not like it's something that will give you a headache. It's not nothing like that. So. Yeah, hopefully you're gonna like it too. And let me know if you have tried that before. See you in the comment section. But let's go ahead and proceed to the next one, which is the Diamonds and Emeralds by Elizabeth Taylor. All right, so this is one of the perfumes that um, Elizabeth Taylor had. And I like this one more specifically than the other one. I forgot what was the first one that's more popular. But I really like this. Um, I tried this already and I am um, seriously, I even wear this to bed. <laughs> I love it that much. So the main accords for this one is white floral, of course floral, a little bit of animal lick and um, tuberose and a little bit of fruity in there too. All right, so let's go ahead and try to the box. So it's green with a little bit of uh, gold frame in there. It says Diamonds and Emeralds by Elizabeth Taylor. Um, and it says uh, the Toilette Spray Natural Vaporizator and the 1.7 fluid ounce uh, or 50 ml. And the size is just the same with green one. At the back, we have, of course, the question and the ingredient. It says after 36 months. And. It says Elizabeth Taylor Cosmetics Company made in USA. There you go. And the barcode at the bottom. So that's that. And this is on the top. Again, I already removed the plastic of this one. All right, so there. And it's a very beautiful cylinder bottle like so. It's just so classy. This even resembles diamonds, but they're not. And um, but I really like this bottle. It's just oh, so classy. Woman. It says diamonds and emeralds in there, and wow, it's just very very pretty and clear. And you could really see how much you wore already with this one. So a little bit of history. This woman's fragrance was presented in 1993 with the floral notes wrapped up in an oriental embrace and bring a breeze of white rose and gardenia, sweetness of an apricot, fresh mandarin, juicy peach, sage, hyacinth, orange blossom, and green accords at the top. So the heart ticks in the rhythm of a floral, sweet jasmine, lily of the valley, carnation, seductive tuberose, Rose, a magnolia, and tiger lily. The base is soft, velvety, and powdery with notes of vanilla, amber, musk, patchouli, and tonka beans. That's why I like it because lots of the notes are my favorite notes. So it says that a lot of our ladies are wearing this on spring, a little bit of summer, 
um, spring and fall usually is when they wear this and then mostly on the day and lots of people still wear it at night like me <laughs> yeah so and this is also a blind buy okay yeah straight off the first spray you are going to notice more of floral notes if this is like um uh powdery sweet this is more of floral sweet not floral citrus but floral sweet yeah i love it and the dry down of this one is oh oh my gosh it's just oh i cannot i am um, explain so much velvety powdery dry down this is powdery also both of them but this is more velvety and this is just like plain powdery on the dry down so yeah oh my gosh i love it this one oh it smells so good this <laughs> this one's really smells so good yeah but this is for people who like sweets if they like powdery scents they would probably like this one but if they don't like sweets they probably will not uh, be so much excited about that one but that's all for the diamonds and emeralds by elizabeth taylor so now we are going to proceed with another elizabeth which is uh, very popular in the fragrance world which is elizabeth arden well, a lot of us receive this um, perfume brand as a gift because it's always on the duty free and the airports and yeah, it's like the most common giftable perfume that, that I could say. And the most popular of this one was the green tea if I'm not mistaken. That one, I, I had several of those too as gifts from friends. Yeah, but let's talk about this one because this is the perfume that I was telling you that I love to give as a gift because this is so safe. And a lot of um, the girls, whatever they, their age is, they love it. And that's why I got to have one for myself also. I only have it on 30ml because I wanted to um, also bring this when I travel. So I have something more of a clean scent. Um, other than or like a clean and fresh other than all the other ones that I usually wear like sweet and all that yeah so the main of course for this one is floral a little bit of fl white floral green of course we have fresh spicy there fresh and rose okay so this is actually very beautiful inside but I'm gonna show to you the box you see Elizabeth Arden splendor in there Eau de Parfum Spray, one fluid ounce or 30 ml. And this is actually a very good price too. That's why it's a good giftable item. So it's um, Elizabeth Arden. It's from New York, but this is made in London, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. And then let's open this box and reveal this beautiful bottle. Ta-da! It's so simple. It's like it's like the perfect bottle that you can put on a, um, a lady's room. Like a, a washroom or a powder room, whatever they want to call it. Uh, yeah. It's just this very nice, classy bottle. I, I love this bottle, really. Um, this is so beautiful. What are the signs in there? EA. And then Elizabeth Arden logo is there, and then NY is there. I don't know if that shows, but there's EA and they're engraved. Okay. Oh my god, this ball is so beautiful. And look at that. It looks like a crystal ball in there on the top. And this is something that's just so, so, so classy. At the bottom, of course, we have some stickers about it. Oh, there, there was a double sticker. Maybe something with the manufacturing of this one. They put double stickers instead of one. That's <laughs> that's a first. I've never seen this happen before. Oh, I should I should take that off camera. 
Okay, so let's talk about this perfume right now. So, Splendor by Elizabeth Arden is an oriental floral fragrance for women. So, Splendor was launched in 1998. Okay, about 22 years from now. It's 2020. So, the nose behind the fragrance is James Krivda. Top notes are pineapple, we have, ooh, pineapple. We have wisteria, freesia, peony, hyacinth, apple, sweet pea, and bergamot. Middle notes are magnolia, tea rose, lily, puppy orchid, jasmine, lily of the valley, and rose. And for the base notes, we have sandalwood, amber, darkwood, sea notes, musk, cedar, and Brazilian rosewood. That's a lot of notes in there. This is a perfect oriental flower perfume, but um, I really think that it's also like a clean scent, even though they don't describe it as clean. I think I can put it here. Okay, let's try. Yeah, that's just like a nice mix of oriental floral. Yeah, it's, it's not like overpowering with so many flowers in there and it's not as sweet as the other the other perfumes right here yeah and and, and um something's telling me that you feel or you smell clean and fresh really that's 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 how i describe this one um oriental floral clean and fresh exactly and uh, that that is the reason why I love to give this as a gift because it's um I think a lot of women would like it and would appreciate this scent and uh, yeah that's all for this Elizabeth Arden Splendor and I hope that more of the more women would appreciate this one and if you have this on your collection or if this was gifted to you and you never appreciate it maybe you could go ahead and try to give it another chance because it really smells so good and last but definitely not the least is the perfume that I have from Aqualina. I wanted to have the pink sugar, but it's difficult to find it. Hopefully, I could get my hands on that one so soon. But I got the Sim Simply Pink by Pink Sugar of Aqualina. I have never tried this yet. It is a blind buy. And this is really a first impression for this perfume. That's why it was on the last one because this was my signature perfume. This two I bought at the same time and then I tried them and I'm really happy about them. Um, I just put the, them on this video as well. So you see the box and the balls and I tell you a little bit more about them. And then this one is really the first time I would be appreciating it. So let's see. All right, so we have this uh, plastic uh, packaging instead of uh, a paper box. So we have here uh, Simply Pink by Pink Sugar. It's so cute, so girly. Simply Pink on the side right here. 30 ml or one fluid ounce at the bottom. We have ingredients, 36 months. It's made in Italy. And yeah, so it's like so. I think they want us to open the packaging on this side right here and so we're we gonna do okay aha uh -huh. all right that's cool so we lift this then aha uh -huh. it's two way so i'm just gonna do like this then okay there is this one that, that keeps it in place and then this is the perfume and this is only in 30 ml so it's a tiny one it's so cute so it's perfect for travel. I like this. The two of them are travel size. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Looks like a, a very nice um, summery bottle. But let's judge it <laughs> after the first impression um, when I go ahead and uh, spray it. So we have the sample pink in here. Very nice glass bottle. Uh, let's see the automizer. Ooh, we have... Um, metallic hot pink here or metallic fuchsia in here so nice and it's good that we could see the fluid inside even though it's like ombre from 
a hot pink going to a little bit of lighter and then clear in there at the bottom of course we see Oh, the toilet and natural sprays are the ML, yada yada yada, and made in Italy. Okay, so they say that the main accords for maybe I could do this to it. Main accords for uh, this perfume is uh, that it's sweet, fruity, vanilla, soft, spicy. We have almond in there too. And then to give you a little bit more story about um, this Simply Pink by uh, Pink Sugar. Okay, let's see if it's gonna focus. There you go. All right, so it says the House of Aquilinus launched this joyful addition as an addition to their pink family of fragrance. The perfume is called Simply Pink and it provides a Sweet, fizzy filling on the skin. Oh, okay. The fragrance opens in a fresh mood with luminous bergamot, sweetened with juicy wild strawberry, spiced with almonds, and refreshed with green leaves, providing a sparkling feeling to the scent. The heart beats in a romantic rhythm of classic shades of various white flowers and intoxicating jasmine. The whole composition is rounded with gourmand notes, vanilla licorice, pink praline, and strawberry, ensuring the characteristic stamp of pink sugar collection. Uh-huh. Gourmand fragrance. So, the Simply Pink fragrance arrived in the spring of 2013. Okay, that's not so old. So it's like seven years ago, 2013. Yeah, seven years ago, and they have 30, 50, and 100 ml. Oh my God, I cannot wait to go ahead and try it. So I am just going to spray a little further right here because I used the other hands for other unboxing and first impressions today. Okay, so that's the first spray. Oh my God, this is really gourmand. That is the sweetest. That is the sweetest of all of this four, for sure. Okay, that is even way sweeter than Elizabeth Arden. I wasn't prepared for that sweetness. Oh my gosh. You could really smell vanilla in there. So, yeah, um, could smell almonds, bergamot in there, a little bit of strawberries too. It's just, it's just so sweet to the point that you wanted to really eat something sweet because of how it smells. So, oh my god, that is. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> that was really sweet. So everybody says that um, the pink sugar is just sugar in a bottle. So that's probably what they're talking about because this is really sweet. They just threw in some more of uh, some notes in there to change it up a little bit and make it a spring collection or spring perfume. But wow, that is so sweet and I actually like it. <laughs> I actually like this, this one. Spring is coming up soon and I think that this will be on my purse quite often and I'll be wearing this to work for sure. I think this is going to be a daytime perfume unless you just want it to be eaten at night. But yeah, I think it's going to be a daytime perfume for me. So that's all for all these four beautiful perfumes. If I am going to need to rank them, oh my god, that's going to be hard. Okay, that's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try. Okay, let's say that I. Oh my, that's hard. I think that this is still the first one. Oh, that's hard. So, first. Are you gonna be my second? Because I love to spray you. Let's say first, second. Okay. 
third and fourth. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like that because I have tried this one and this is this is the first time I tried it and I haven't really worn it. So I just put it on the fourth just for now. But it doesn't mean that it was the worst. It's just like it was just very difficult for me to choose and I think I have to do it. <laughs> and check out all my other perfume videos because I have quite a lot. I have an entire playlist showing my um, perfume videos and at the end of this video you will see some more just click on it if you wanted to watch and see you on the comments section down below let's continue the conversation and there you have it everybody thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that you like my unboxing reviews and um well actually first impressions for the simply pink uh from this perfumes and i hope that um I help you in a way like for example you found it on a sale and you're wondering does that smell good or shall I buy it then I hope this video helps you decide because that's what I always do too I always go to YouTube and check out the reviews of the people who are using those items that I see sale especially online because I love 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 online shopping and I wanted to always discover new scents even though they're old already or like they have been released for a very long time so there you go let me know your thoughts about these perfumes if you have them and um yeah let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below let me know if you have some recommendations as well that you think i would like or that i should try and if you didn't like this um this perfumes let me know about it too give me a warning or whatnot so yes there you go thank you so much for watching this video and remember everybody to stay fierce and fly high see you on my next video i love you all and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel